This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. In video 112, we discussed understanding proper weighting for both recreational and technical divers. Once you determine your proper weighting, the next step is to establish proper trim. That's the subject of this video. And don't forget to subscribe. In scuba diving, neutral trim means that you are approximately horizontal in the water. You are not actually perfectly horizontal in the water, but are slightly facing up. And if you tilt your head up slightly, you will be able to see forward. Positive trim is when your feet are lower and your head is higher. And negative trim is when your feet are higher and your head is lower. Achieving neutral trim is very important as your cross-sectional area will be smaller. This generally results in lower air consumption and you are less affected by current. Trim is affected by negatively buoyant forces and positively buoyant forces and the relative position of those forces. Negatively buoyant forces such as weights cause you to sink. While positively buoyant forces, like the air in your BCD, will cause you to rise. It is the relative positioning of these two forces that affect changes in your trim. For most coarse trim adjustments, it's easiest to reposition the weights. If you have a positive trim problem and your head is too high and your feet are too low, redistribute your weight closer to your head. On the other hand, if you have a negative trim problem and your feet are too high and your head is too low, you will need to redistribute your weight lower on your body. Trim weight changes can be difficult to do with either a jacket or back and plate style BCD. So we frequently recommend plate and wing style systems. There's one thing that most divers don't take into consideration when thinking about trim. And that is, as you deplete your tank or tanks, both the actual weight of the tank and the tank's trim itself change. Over the course of the dive, the tank's butt will become increasingly lighter. So what that will do will have the effect of inducing negative trim. This is not a huge problem for recreational divers with one tank. In fact, a recreational diver with one tank may not even notice the difference. However, the situation is much more serious for a technical diver. And the more tanks the technical diver uses, the more serious the situation becomes. A technical diver who starts to dive in perfect trim may find themselves completely inverted by the end of the dive. This can also make it very difficult to properly conduct decompression stops. Since the diver did not properly adjust their trim at the start of the dive, there's also a good chance that the diver does not also have enough weight and cannot hold their last stop. So the diver might want to start the dive a little bit more positive in trim than ordinarily and then over the course of the dive, the diver will then resume neutral trim. So the more tanks the technical diver is using during the dive, the more important it is that the technical diver conduct a proper weight and trim check prior to conducting the dive. The technical diver should not only record how much weight they need, but also where the weight needs to be distributed. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.